What about grain length? Well, we can do that in very much the same way as we've got up here. Um, but because we're not actually dealing with the, uh, the wave file anymore, uh, we can simply use um, an R slider object for that. So essentially that's doing exactly the same thing. It's producing a range within specified uh, limits. Um, but here the limits, or at least the, the duration of the, or the, sorry, the, the range is being selected within the duration of the entire sound file that we've chosen, which of course will be different depending on what we drag into uh, our buffer. Whereas this time uh, for the grain length, I'm going to say I'm only going to allow it to be up to two seconds long. You could choose a different maximum, rain, uh, maximum grain length if you wanted, uh, but I'm going to choose 2000 milliseconds. So our grain can only be up to 2000. Actually, something I should perhaps do instead of that is 2001. Um, because when we're working with random, which of course we will be, um, our range will go from zero to one less than the, the number that I specify. So if I want this to be a maximum of two, two seconds long, then I would need to go to 2001 um, values in order to, to produce that maximum. So beyond that, uh, I'm just going to copy this across because that's all I need. So uh, we're going to take the maximum, sorry, the minimum from our maximum range there. Um, and our minimum is going to be used to offset the value again. Uh, and once again, just for the purposes of demonstration, we'll make a separate button object to trigger that just for now. Um, and an integer object. So again, we're dealing with whole whole numbers of milliseconds rather than fractions, uh, again, for, for ease of use for the time being. But here, if I make uh, a selection, once again, my range will be within that selection. Uh, so here, of course, all we need to do is to replace, or well, send that value into this addition object. Um, so this fragment is choosing the start point and then we're adding the offset still, but our offset now is being determined by the random number that is coming into, into the right hand side of this plus object. Uh, once again, we can use this uh, kind of master trigger to trigger that random object. So I'll get rid of this one. And hopefully we will have a, a grain length which is determined by by that. So at the moment that is, well, it's about 483 milliseconds long and we can make that shorter. Whoops. That's now 1000, sorry, 100 milliseconds, etc. So again, we can have a range or if I just choose, uh, if I just click once and don't drag, then we can always have it at the same duration. So we can have a very predictable uh, grain start time and grain length if we want. 